in January 2020. The World Health Organization confirmed that a novel coronavirus, COVID-19, was the cause of a respiratory illness in a cluster of people in Wuhan, China. The infection rate of the virus escalated into what is now a worldwide pandemic. In March 2020, with Kenya having confirmed its first cases of the virus, the president issued a raft of measures to curb the spread of COVID-19. These measures disrupted people's day-to-day -day activities and the normal running of business for various institutions, companies and projects, including the Farm to Market Alliance project. Since the onset of COVID, it has become a, it became a, a challenge in addressing farmers in a conventional way. By adhering to the government directives and through trainings on digitization given to the farmer service centers, the project staff ensured project activities, which rely heavily on face-to-face -face meetings, were not affected. Nilikuwa na tembe, naenda kwa groups, naenda kanisa, kwa kila kwa nilikuwa naenda kwa makanisa tofauti tofauti. Lakini sasa vile corona iliingia, kutembe ikasimama. Ikabaki ya kwamba ni penye huko, ni kufanyia kazi penye huko. Kama two weeks back, walituita kwa training hapo na mbali. Tukafunzwa sasa mbinu mpya ya kufikia wakulima wetu. One of the uh, technologies adopted is uh, interactive voice response, uh, IVR. Now, these ones uh, comes as a, as a normal call to the farmers. Then when they receive, then they're able to, you know, to listen to specific trainings uh, on specific uh, products and services. Basi wasiliana na mshauri wa kilimo wa CGA, FTNA, wa eneo lako, au tembelea agrovet iliyo karibu nawe. Kumbuka kunawa mikono na sabuni kwa sekunde 20, kutumia maski kwenye mdomo na pua na kuepuka umati wa watu ili kujikinga na virusi vya corona. Farm to Market Alliance, pembeji ubora kwa mapato zaidi. Aside from the interactive voice response IVR, the FSCs also embraced other messaging platforms like group SMS, and the WhatsApp Messenger for continued communication with the farmers. Tukafunzwa jinzi ya kusubscribe star 188 hash. Alafu watakuletea pali option za SMS za nyunataka kama ni daily, kwa shilingitana ama ni kwa weekly. Kwa mfano mimi lichukua sa 30 bob za week moja. Sasa ndia zanyini likuja, ni katumia wakulima wangu. I decided to form a WhatsApp group where the farmers that I do train, because we have various farmer groups, those that have uh, access to WhatsApp, I added them to that one WhatsApp group. In that WhatsApp group, I've also included other ad advisors or specialists in uh, agriculture. Ukienda tu pale, ukijaribu tu, unasema, nimeona maindi yangu. Amu uneza piga picha pia, na uposti pale, useme tafadhani ni taftieni dawa, ama nini shida na hii maindi yangu. Na pale, unapata kuna pia, wakulima wengine hasa alena pia anakuwa ni mtu wa msaada sana anakuambia mindi ina lack kitu fulani they get a wide range of also advice because they are agronomists from Sigenta, from Bayer from Yara other partners in the project have also embraced these changes and have optimized their operations to not just adhere to these government directives but also continued interaction and business with the FSCs. Since now the, the issue of uh, cash, the issue of paying farmers using cash is discouraged, we have now planned on how we are going to pay our farmers using the M-Pesa model. Tunanungua kupitia app ya WISOS. Sasa WISOS, si siendi na pesa cash, inalipwa true M-Pesa. Asa kazi yangu ni rais. Yangu ni kupima na kuweka kila kitu, transaction yote, pesa mkulima na pata kwa mpesa. Through these interventions, the Farm to Market Alliance has managed to continue impacting the lives of farmers and ensuring that the objectives it set out to achieve are not curtailed by this pandemic.
we quickly adapted to these technologies and we uh, and this uh, uh, this through this many farmers were reached and uh, uh, from the records uh, the sales uh, even increased further. Thank you.